Hi, I'm Senator John F. Kennedy and I represent District 18 at the State Capitol, which includes parts of Upson, Monroe, Peach, Crawford, and portions of Bibb and Houston counties. In November, you, the Georgia voters, will be faced with a number of questions to consider at the end of your election ballot. Each of these measures has the potential to profoundly impact the citizens of Georgia, and I'd like to take just a moment and give you a little background on Amendment Number 4, also known as Marcy's Law. The legislation leading to the passage of Marcy's Law in Georgia was actually composed in two different bills, Senate Resolution 146 and Senate Bill 127. Senate Resolution 146 represents the constitutional amendment voters will be faced with in November, while Senate Bill 127 is a companion piece of legislation that will kick in if Senate Resolution 146 is approved by you, the voters. Marcy's Law outlines the Bill of Rights for victims of a crime. Specifically, this Bill of Rights provides victims with the right to request the court dates and release dates of the criminal in question, the right to be made aware of any rulings in the case, and the right to be included or excluded from criminal proceedings. Additionally, victims will be given the standing to seek a judicial remedy if they find that their rights are not being adhered to. Senate Bill 127 would expand the Victims' Bill of Rights further to allow them to petition prosecuting attorneys in writing to be notified of all proceedings. And if a prosecutor does not adhere to this request, it grants victims the ability to file further requests with the court to be heard on the matter. While Marcy's Law is only one of five ballot measures that voters will be faced with in November, I hope this video helped highlight a few of the key points. If you have any questions about Marcy's Law or any other ballot measures, please feel free to reach out to me or my office and we will do everything we can to assist you. Thank you and have a great day.